Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is going to be testing out a new product from one of my most favorite uh, YouTubers, um, makeup company owners, all of it. So if you wanna see what I'm getting up to and what I think, stick around, we're gonna get into it. I'm about to have a very naked face. Brace yourself. Okay, I am super excited about this. Um, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I am a diehard fan for the Nakia Joy Velvet Finishing Powder. And I ran out of my powder, well, not completely, but very, very close. And I saw that she released a new primer. Um, after I tried the Danessa Myricks uh, Yummy Skin Powder Balm thing, I was watching one of Nakia's videos and I was like, oh my gosh, you have to try this balm. It is life-changing. It kept my oils seriously under control. I like went on and on about it only to figure out a week or so, two weeks later, three weeks later that she was releasing her own mattifying primer. So i um, a little embarrassed. Hopefully it's good because I bought the new primer and because I needed the powder, I, they had a bundle on offer. So I got a new powder. This is what it comes in. This is the unscented one. They didn't have the scented one available when I went on to purchase. And then it came with this Nikia Joy Perfecting Sponge. I've used her sponges in the past. They're really nice. I don't know that they're, you know, necessarily any better than any other sponge that I use, but it was there, part of the bundle. So I grabbed it as well as the new primer. So this is, all the boxes look the same. They're really, really nice. Um, the packaging on this is so good. I love, love, love black. It's my favorite color. And this is what it looks like. So I thought for today's video, I would use this on one half of my face and my Danessa Myricks on the other half. When I do my makeup now, I always, always, always put on the Danessa Myricks as a primer. Sometimes I even use it as a foundation. It depends on like the eye look I'm doing because it isn't super full coverage, but it's really nice. So um, yeah, I thought I would compare the two today and do a bit of a wear test to see what I think. So let's go in with the Nakia Joy Matte Base Primer. I watched her video. I will, of course, link it below so you can uh, check it out if you want to, but I'm going to squeeze some out on my little palette. She said in her video, one to two pumps is all you need to do your whole face. So I'm going to try like most of a pump if I can. It takes a minute to get it going. Seriously? <sighs> oh, there we go. Okay. And it does have like a locking mechanism. So you can just lock it and it won't actually pump. So that's a thing. And in my crazy squirting, that is two pumps. It was kind of hard. Like the first one did about a whole one. The second one did about a whole one. So I wanted to do a full pump. So that's what it looks like. Um, she used her hands to apply it. I'm never going to do that but she did like kind of gently like sweep it over and then press it in, in the video. And when I do the Nadessa Myricks, I like to use one of these little poofs and I just get it on the sponge and like press it in. So I thought I would use the same method to apply this. So I'm gonna go in and just scoop it up on my little puff along with cat hair because cat hair is everywhere in my house. All right, so let's do the left side of my face. And just start patting it in. Oh, there's a lovely scent. It smells citrusy. It's not like super harsh. You know what, I'm gonna grab a bit more. I'm gonna get the other pump. I 
Now I normally just do like my T-zone and right around here. So that's all I'm gonna do. Just press it in. I got this little heart poof off of Amazon. I really, really like these poofs. So I just got that all pressed in. Let's give it a minute to settle down. Apparently there was some eyeshadow left on there too. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, let me zoom you in so you can get an up-close personal look at the primed right. side. And the unprimed side. Now I'll go in with my Danessa Myricks balm. I used all that I squirted out on the face. And for this, I have the bigger poof and I use each like corner once a, a day, like a once every time I do it. And then I switch corners. So I'm gonna take the clean corner and I just like rub it in and put it on my sponge. Because this is like the tinted version, you are gonna be able to see, like I'm gonna look like a crazy person for a minute. But I feel like that's okay. We'll get the gist. I am going to repurchase this bomb. Check this out. I have used so much. I really, really like this. Like with my whole heart. I think it works so well. So I think that I'll repurchase the universal one, which doesn't have any pigment. I feel like that would be because I don't I don't use this as foundation most of the time. I mostly use it as a primer. So let's give that a minute to dry down and then I'll zoom you in and you can take a reconnoiter at what they look like side by side. Okay, let me zoom you in and you can see what each side looks like compared to the other. Obviously you have to imagine either the Nikia Joy side pigmented or the Danessa Myrick side not pigmented. But as far as like appearance, with nothing on top, I do think like, like with no foundation or anything on, I do think the Nikia Joy side looks a bit smoother. Which is really nice for sure. Um, my skin's not like super textured. I feel like it's just regular skin. Um, mostly what I care about is the oil control. So I'm going to put on my foundation. I'm actually going to use a mixture of my Makeup Forever HD skin. And this is in the shade 3R44, which is not quite dark enough. And I'm going to use this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 109 Classic Tan. This is a bit too orange for me, and this is a bit too light. So when I mix them together, it makes a pretty good shade match. Not perfect, but pretty good. And I did wear this yesterday. I had to go to the eye doctors and have an eye exam, and I had to wear a mask, the whole shebang. And my foundation looked really good before I went. Um, from what I could see when I got back, like later on in the day, it still looked pretty good. Um, I had to have my eyes dilated, so I couldn't see much of anything for most of the day. So I'm gonna use my little mixing spatula. This is what it looks like before I mix the two. I could not see anything up close at all. Like my phone went off, I had to have Mike read it to me. I could not see anything. Okay, so I'm just going to start smearing this on so as to not waste what is on the spatula. And I'm going to use my sponge. It's very stained up. This is the AOA Papa sponge. I got maybe a six pack off of Amazon for, no, it had been more than that. It was a bag of them for just a few dollars. And 
they are so good. I really, really like this sponge, which is why I wasn't like super excited about the Nikia Joy one. It's very expensive and it's very nice, but this is very not expensive and very nice. So let's just go in and get this on. I'm gonna blend it all over my face the exact same way, both sides, and then I will come back and show you what everything looks like. All right, this is the foundation all blended in. Let me zoom you in again so you can see what it looks like side by side. I am interested to know what you think. I think it looks very similar. Once again, the Nakia side uh, looks just a tiny bit smoother. But again, I don't feel like I struggle with texture too much. I mean, maybe it's there and I just don't care. I don't know, but uh, I don't. <laughs> so, all right, let me do up the rest of my face. I'm gonna do the huge Nikia Joy setting powder, contour blush, bl blush, bronzer, highlight, throw on a lip, finish up my eyes, and I'll be back and we can start the wear test? No, let's start the wear test now. It's 8.48. Where's my phone? 8.48. So I'm hoping to wear this until about four. So we'll get a full seven hours out of this. So, all right, BRB. I am done. My makeup is all on. It is 9.10 in the morning. So doing the rest of my face didn't take long. I was actually wrapping up another video as well because I'm double dipping today. Um, on the rest of my face, obviously Nikia Joy Cosmetics setting powder. Contour is the Kevin Aquan contour powder that I always use. My bronzer is this ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. It's very subtle as a bronzer. I'm gonna try this as like an all over face powder. I feel like this could be good. In the winter time, I look at this and I'm just like, why did you buy that? What made you think you would ever use that? Um, in the winter, I'm very, very white. And in the summer, I'm very, very tan. So somebody remind me in the winter not to declutter that. <laughs> My blush is from the new Odin's Eye collection that I'm loving so, so, so much. And this is in the shade Sunset Clouds. I honestly wasn't sure if this would work for me because, you know, it does seem rather light, but I really like the color. I think it's super pretty. Cool toned, which I don't wear a whole lot of cool toned blushes, but I like it. And my highlight is also Odin's Eye. It is the Lavender Dream Highlight. It's what I have on the inner corner of my eyes and on my cheekers. So I'm going to wear this all day today. I've got a couple of nail appointments this morning. Um, by nail appointments, I mean my sister is coming over and I'm gonna paint her nails and my niece's nails. They are going on vacation, so they're getting their nails done. Um, I'll check in a couple of times throughout the day today and then of course I'll come back at the end of the day to show you what my skin looks like and wrap this up. But let's real quick zoom in so you can see what my skin with all the products on. Aside from the random bits of glitter, <laughs> I really think both sides look super similar. I'm not mad at either one. So uh, if you have some thoughts at this point, leave it in the comment section. I'd like to know what you think as we go. Okay, I'll be back later on and we can check it out again. So I thought I would do just a quick check-in in natural lighting. I'm sitting by my door. It's mostly sunny, a little bit cloudy. And this is what my skin looks like. Let me just... I think it looks pretty good. The rest of me is a hot mess, but that's what my skin looks like in natural lighting after about an hour. So I'll be back. Okay, it is 11.41 and I wanted to do a check-in. So let me zoom in so you can see what my face is looking like now. It's been almost three hours. Looking in the mirror, the Nikia Joy side to me looks a bit more textured in here. This side looks a little bit smoother. I think both sides look 
equally matte slash shiny. I haven't touched my face at all. I did eat, so my lipstick has worn off a bit. Perhaps I'll remember to touch it up before my next check-in, but um, that's where we are right now. I will say I'm not loving whatever is happening in the center of my forehead here. It looks a little bit yuck. So I don't know what that's about. Could be the foundation. I, like, I think I mentioned that yesterday I wore this same foundation concoction and um, my eyes were, got my eyes dilated at the eye doctor. So I didn't see what it looked like after my appointment for like a really long time. And I just, I don't think I paid attention. So uh, this could be um, more of a foundation problem. So we'll see as the day goes on. But that's where we are right now. I'll be back probably around four for a final check-in to see what this looks like. All right, I'm back for a final check-in. It is 3.59. I made it to four o'clock, which, you know, it's not nothing for me. Anyway, my lipstick's all gone. I had dinner a few minutes ago and let's zoom in and look at my face. So this is the side with the Nikia Joy and this is the Danessa Myricks. I am a little bit shiny around my nose where I normally get really, really greasy. If I were going out, I would definitely like blot over that with a little bit of powder. My forehead looks pretty good. I think for the most part, both sides look the same. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section if you have any thoughts about this. I am interested because I have just one point of view. Um, yeah, so that is the Nikia Joy Matte Base Primer that she just released. I like it. I'll definitely keep using it. Um, I'll probably alternate between the NJC and the Danessa Myricks because I really do think I like both of them. So that is that on that. If you're wondering about the eye look, this video is already live. I will link it below. You want to check it out in case you missed it. And the eyeshadow has not creased or worn badly all day today. That's amazing. So anyway, that's it. That's the video done and dusted. If you're not subscribed already, you could do that now. I upload four videos a week. If you click on the little bell and choose all, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And you can choose to watch it or not. It's totally up to you, no pressure. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me. All right, be good and remember to be kind to you.